Welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. I tried to get some quarters and dimes today before work. Uh, this is all I could get. $85. My desk still has silver on it. I, uh, today is January 2nd. Tomorrow I have the day off, so I'm going to be heading to uh, my local coin shop. See if I can get some tubes and get this straightened up a little bit. But for now, we're going to be hunting dimes and quarters. Maybe in the quarters I'll be able to find some stuff for the album. And the dimes, maybe we'll find a silver. This will be very quick. Let me go through, see what we can find. I'll be right back. All right, the first roll of dimes gives us a 1970 proof reverse. So you can see the indents in the flame right there. That's an indicator that it's the reverse of a proof dime. So we'll hold this aside. I'm not going to keep this, but we'll just hold it aside as a find. Be right back. Just finished up the second roll of dimes. And we have a couple of 2020s. Uh, you can see here we got some die chips on the reverse. Got a good one right there at the bottom of the torch. Got another one in between the P and the L. Pluribus. A little bit on the stem. A little bit in the flame. And then we have a lot on um, Roosevelt. Above his eyebrow. In his hair. On his nose, on his cheek. So we have that one. And then we have this one here with a die chip, a decent sized die chip, and his head. And that's again another 2020 out of Philly. There's really not much on the reverse of this one. But that's okay. Got a little, little crack going on at the bottom of the torch. Okay, let me get into the next roll. Be right back. All right, that's it for the dimes. We had our 1970 proof reverse and two 2020s with some die chips on them. Let's get into the five rolls of quarters. See if we can't find anything cool. Something for the album. Silver, W, something foreign. Be right back. Roll two of the quarters. Say it with me. Scumbaggery. What do we have? We have a 1991 Philadelphia nickel. Let me get into these. I'll be right back. All right, so the third roll of quarters gives us a Kanaka Ole with a die chip, and I'll show you in a second. And then this 1978 quarter with, looks like a quarter that was like dipped in acid. You can see the rim. It's just the copper is worn out of it all the way around. Oh, we'll pull that aside. And then the die chip kanaka ole right here just under the word of which is a pretty decent size die chip so we'll hold this one aside kind of looks like maybe like an erupting volcano or something put this aside we get two more rolls left all right that was it for the five rolls of quarters to hunt i got two Roosevelt's that I checked for the Clash die, nothing. Scumbaggery nickel. We got a die chip, Kanaka Ole, and our acid dipped 1978. I do have <clears throat> a bunch of quarters that I pulled aside that we're going to pop into the album. And obviously, when I come across better ones, we'll do upgrades, but we got a whole bunch of quarters here to fill slots with. So let me get into that, and I'll be right back. All right, out of those five rolls of quarters, I took out the eagle backs and started to plug in some holes. So we started with 
1965. I have a 66, 67, 68D, a 70D, 71D, 72, 72D. I'm not going to keep saying them all. You guys can see what we have here. So I was able to plug in some spots. And as the quarter hunts go along, I will uh, upgrade when it's fitting to do so. And obviously plug in spots that need to be plugged in. But out of five rolls, we did get that 93 silver from uh, the silver hall. 94, 94D, 95, 96, 97, 98. That's like Connect 4 right there. All right, so that does it for the quarter hunt. And nickel, not nickel, dime hunt. It wasn't much, but there really wasn't much to hunt. So, hope you enjoyed this. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you get notified on all of my upcoming videos. Please tap that like button. I'll see you on the next one. I also had some proofs laying around from past hunts. These are like state quarters, national parks. But I did have some eagle backs in here that I pulled out and we put them into the album. So let me get the first one was a 1969. My next was a bicentennial proof. And these are definitely circulated, but 77 proof. <clears throat> Is that bicentennial one there? They have a 1981 proof that actually looks like a proof. I had an 84 proof. This one's nice. The 85 proof. Um, I have an 89. Do we have anything else? We have a 94. And I believe that's it. For proofs. So the book's coming along. Yeah, you can, that one stands out like a sore thumb. Not bad. For just starting it out. I do have more um, silvers from last year's hunt. I can see if I have anything else to plug or um, upgrade. This one's really, really worn and scratched. 35S. All right, that does it. Bring you back on the next album update. Until then, have a great day. See you on the next one.